Okay, in the past week, there's been at least uh, two or three, maybe even four skunk sightings in this neighborhood. And uh, as a matter of fact, I know I saw at least one or two. One in my front yard, one in the backyard, on different occasions. I don't know if it was the same one or not. But if you have a skunk problem in your neighborhood, here are some steps you can take to prevent them from wanting to come back. Now notice here, here, let me flip this camera here. Notice I took the bird feeder down. Okay. Don't hang bird feeders or squirrel feeders around your property. You know, they like to eat the little droplings that come down. Another thing you can do, over here, notice, keep your garbage cans and your, uh, your uh, recycle bins, keep them closer to the alley instead of by your house. Or better yet, if you can, if you got room, put them in your garage. Now here's what I plan on doing next. You definitely want to move this around. Oh gosh, this this is definitely a skunk haven. I uh, hope I don't find anything when I move these branches around. Skunks like to burrow under branches for shelter. And what I also did, let me show you some places here, like, like over here too. They like to run in between the bushes, just like any other rodent. They like to do that. Uh, over here, I don't know if you can see this or not. This is a blind shot. That's a sock soaked with ammonia. You know, rodents hate the smell of ammonia. So if you think you have a rodent problem, skunks or whatever, possums, raccoons, soak some old rags with ammonia and put them in the areas where they like to find shelter. So that's my plan. Hopefully they're not coming back again.